surpasses California by way of Cleveland, Ohio. Here is Jake, the problem child. Mike Tyson will soon surpass former opponent Roy Jones, J.R. Dot's record for the longest running heavyweight career, which spans from 1,985 until 2024. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, and he's going to accomplish that goal by defeating Jake Paul handily. The heavyweight exhibition match between Jake Paul and Iron Mike Tyson is currently in progress. Four days from now, there will be another news conference with Duo. The fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul has finally taken place, having overcome all obstacles that would have prevented it from happening. The bout is officially concluded. It was much anticipated in the boxing community from the time it was announced on March 7th. Additionally, Iron Mike Tyson promised Jake Paul a vicious thrashing prior to the press conference. I have a prediction for your upcoming fight with Jake Paul. Yeah, um, big time win. Big For those who remain skeptical about the fight's likelihood, Iron Mike Tyson's ulcer attack symptoms have completely subsided and he has restarted his training regimen. When Tyson went back to his previous habits, he gave his followers a preview of what to expect posting his instructional films. Hey Kim, this is Mike Tyson. We're excited to announce the Tyson 2.0 medical cannabis. Here's an outrageous thing, though, that the fans aren't aware of. And it's the reality that in spite of Tyson's insistence on his welfare, a number of professional fighters are demonstrating against the bout. Recently, Mike Tyson talked about how his health has improved in an interview reassuring his supporters that he was cleared. Got any big plans for the fall? Yeah, of course you know I'm going to be in Texas in the fall. The bout had to be postponed, but I'll be returning to the gym soon. I am grateful to MVP, Netflix, at T Stadium, and the medical staff that attended to me. They worked hard to find a time that would work for everyone, said Tyson, who had to halt his training due to a recent flare-up of an ulcer. Oh, that's right. You don't even say his name, You don't even say his name, yeah, man. Jake Paul. No matter when we fight, the outcome will remain the same even though we have a new date. Jake Paul is about to lose consciousness, but for these competitors, the only positive outcomes from the bout for the boxing star are brain damage and a few million dollars. That's what she thinks, okay. That, that's just already in the pack. Mind games already, you know I mean? Mike. I Jake Paul hasn't made things any easier either with his recent knockout victories and declarations that he will give Mike Tyson a brutal night in the ring. On Friday, I'm ready for the main meal, having already consumed Mike Perry as an appetizer. Nah, 15. Paul informed Netflix. <laughs> is this fight different than the other fight? I have to move up to heavyweight. It is a dream come true for me to be facing the biggest, baddest fighter of all time, and Mike Tyson is going to have a nightmare. Being included at Fanatics Fest with some of the biggest sports stars is awesome, and I'm excited to put on a show. That Friday, spectators won't soon forget. November 15th. No. Why not? Terence Crawford, widely regarded as one of the best boxing champions in the world, was recently asked in an Aston and MMA interview if he would be interested in seeing a specific fight. He responded by saying, no, not in my case. I think Mike Tyson, I think Mike Tyson is, you know, uh, an icon in boxing. In my opinion, Mike Tyson is a boxing icon. He's accomplished a great deal for boxing on his own. Additionally, I believe Mike is past his prime. Mike is aging. If Mike was just doing it in the ring, I wouldn't want to see him get hurt. For the entertainment value or financial gain, I simply believe that his health issues are an additional reason why I no longer want to watch him compete. He deserves credit for all that he has done for boxing. He's done a lot for, for boxing and his, and his own right. Former two-time welterweight champion Sean Porter doesn't think Paul and Tyson will ever step through the ropes together, even though both men have said it's happening and everything is booked. If he fights the right fights and, and, and takes the right path. The first person to discuss this in an interview was the paranoid Oscar De La Hoya. As they get ready for their press conference this weekend, it's evident from his remark uh, that he wasn't believing the claims of the rescheduled fight. Iron Mike was cautioned by the Golden Boy in a TMZ Sports interview. Through that world title, he can actually get there. I'm not sure. I love Mike Tyson, so I'm going to pray for him, De La Hoya stated. It's a dangerous fight, but I believe Jake Paul is a real fighter. Mike Tyson, please use caution. Do I like it? No, because I love Mike Tyson. He's a cruiserweight. Oscar De La Hoya expressed his misgivings about the matchup on TV over a month ago, so his worries are hardly surprising. I'm a purist, you see. Have I gotten into any fights like this before? 
No, see, this is how I really feel. When asked about Tyson vs. Jake Paul's fight, De La Hoya responded, Jake Paul, you say you want to be the world champion, you say you want to take the sport seriously, then take it seriously. Jake Paul, you say you want to be a world champion. He seemed dissatisfied with Jake Paul for even considering a fight with Mike Tyson, saying the fighter was behaving contrary to his declaration that he took the sport seriously. What is this? This is not a competition for popularity. I feel that if Jake Paul fights the proper fights and goes the right route to win the world title, I will be the first to applaud him for taking this seriously. This, uh, this is not a popularity contest. I, I'm, I'm actually praising Jake Paul here to take this seriously. Then he gave Paul advice to follow his dreams of success, but only if he puts up the appropriate kind of fight. I'm not sure because it's up to him whether or not he wins, but he can still reach his goal without going through Mike Tyson. He's going to be extremely wealthy. He will become even more well-known at Mike Tyson's expense. Do I find it appealing? No, as Mike Tyson is my favorite. I really truly feel if he fights the right fights. He went on to say that he didn't like the fight and that he thought Jake Paul should fight someone else. He asserted that Jake Paul would not be a good match for Mike Tyson. He didn't deserve it. We must maintain perspective. This is amusement. I suppose this war will be very profitable for both parties worldwide. I say more power to them. However, Jake Paul seemed to take his sport extremely seriously the last I heard. Make your money, but treat the sport seriously, is all I'm saying. She get there. I'm not sure, because it's up to him if he can win it. Even though he was in love with Mike, he believed that Mike was too old for the fight and wished for Mike's safety to end. Although Tyson will face danger, Tyson will be in danger because Tyson has faced monsters in the ring. Though I'm sure he can go six, seven, or eight rounds, he has a chin. My main concern is Tyson's legacy. I have never witnessed a 57-year-old boxer take on a powerful bull like Jake Paul in the ring. Given how many people will be watching, I don't know how or in what way this will affect boxing, but I think Tyson will be sad. Tyson and I grew up together. I hope he stays safe up there. Who Mike Tyson? He's not gonna, I mean, he's, he's gonna make a shitload of money. An additional fierce opponent of Jake Paul's during his conflict with mixed martial artists has been former middleweight world champion Michael Bisping, who doesn't have much patience for Jake Paul's antics or fight buildups. The British fighter thought Paul had little chance of winning this bout the best he could hope for was to take out an old legend who was decades past his prime. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson is set to go down July 20th. In an installment of his Believe You Main podcast, Bisping made a joke about how if Jake Paul loses, listen, it's Mike Tyson, but still, come on. Like Dennis, Bisping doesn't think there is anything exceptional about the fight for Jake Paul, but as a rival, he undoubtedly wants Tyson to win big and put an end to Jake Paul's career in boxing.